what we found was that different types of intelligence related to different population variables, for example, education level or age or how much someone tends to smoke, uh, how often they play computer games. And this suggests that there are multiple forms of intelligence and that there are different factors, uh, biological and in our environment, that, that affect those forms of intelligence. One of the most intriguing findings that we had relates to this idea of brain training. And in line with some of our previous research, we found that people who brain trained regularly did not actually perform any better than those who, who did not. Conversely, people who played normal computer games perform better in terms of both reasoning and short-term memory capacity. This is a fascinating finding. We have no idea why this might be the case. But it's actually rather surprising to me that, um, that playing any type of computer game, brain training or other, could actually be related to your level of intelligence. The real question going forwards is whether it relates to particular types of game, uh, whether it relates to how often you play those types of game, and whether it's actually there's a causal relationship. So whether it's playing the games that makes you more intelligent, or whether it's the case that if you're more, in, more intelligent in terms of reasoning and short-term memory, you tend to enjoy playing games more. There are many questions there that are simply not answered.